Good evening, and welcome to Christ Church. This evening is the commemoration of Euphrosine Smartagus of Alexandria from the 5th century, and the collect for a monastic is on page 198 in the prayer book. O God, by whose grace thy servant Euphrosine Smartagus, enkindled with the fire of thy love, became a burning and shining light in thy church, grant that we also may be aflame with the spirit of love and discipline, and may ever walk before thee as children of light, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with thee and the unity of the Holy Spirit liveth and reigneth one God, now and forever. Amen. The lesson is from the Epistle to the Galatians, the third chapter, beginning at the 25th verse. But now that faith has come, we are no longer subject to a disciplinarian. For in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. As many of you as were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is no longer Jew or Greek. There is no longer slave or free. There is no longer male and female. For all of you are one in Christ Jesus. And if you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's offspring and heirs according to the promise. Here endeth the lesson. Euphrosine of Alexandria was a young woman who had dedicated her life to God, but whose father disagreed profoundly with her decision and would have forced marriage upon her. Euphrosine uh, it took a very, perhaps modern in our eyes, decision and changed her gender and became Smartagus and took holy orders as a monk and entered the monastery where she lived for many years until her father became ill and the abbot of that monastery tasked her to be his counselor. And he, she, uh, in the guise of Smartagus, counseled him for some time and he never recognized his own daughter in the monk who was giving him good advice. She later became ill, and it was only on her deathbed that she revealed herself to her father. Her witness to her father worked a profound change on him, and at her death he renounced the world, gave his possessions to the poor, and took the vow of uh, the monk in the same cell in the same abbey where Euphrosine Smartagus had served before him. And so we remember Euphrosine Smartagus on this day. We also remember Euphrosine and Smartagus when we think about all the very modern conflicts surrounding gender identity between parents and children and between people and their, their government. It is not so long ago that we were all in uproar over bathroom bills and various forms of legal recognition for those whose gender identity is different from that which was uh, placed on them at birth. But this is not something of the 21st century. This is not something of the 5th century. This is something that is as old as humanity. And we are uh, limiting our vision when we apply gender as a means of exclusion. We need look no further than the fact that it has been 250 odd years uh, since the foundation of the United States and the very first woman to lie in state in the Capitol Rotunda is being recognized today. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg was a pioneer for women in the law and women in the government and helped to make the law that has liberated so many women from legal oppression. The fact that we are still dealing with this kind of issue 2100 years after Christ came and made us all one and children of Abraham ought to be just slightly appalling to us. And so 
whenever an opportunity comes to say no to someone based on gender identity, don't say yes to the person who is one with you in Christ. The Collect for a Saint is also on page 198. O Almighty God, who hast compassed us about with so great a cloud of witnesses, grant that we, encouraged by the good example of thy servant, Euphrosine Smartagus, may persevere in running the race that is set before us until at length through thy mercy we may with him attain to thy eternal glory through Jesus Christ, the author and perfecter of our faith, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And may the Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Good night.